Now, as I mentioned earlier, time speed distance will not have any formulas, so you'll not ever use any formula as such. Just that you'll have to understand what train is and how does it move exactly. Now, a train can basically cross a pole, a man, okay, anything that is insignificant. Insignificant means uncomparable to the length of the train. Whenever it crosses something like a pole or a man, the distance travelled by the train is the length of the train. And that's pretty obvious, right? Distance will be the length because when you cross a pole, okay, your, your pole will be crossed by starting with the engine till the last bogey. So the entire length is being crossed, the entire length is being traced down and that will give you the distance covered. So when you cross a pole, you cross a man, okay, man, pole, maybe a car, a bike, whatever, whatever is insignificant in comparison to length. Basically, in short, I give you a cheap trick for this. Whenever the width is not mentioned that time, okay. Otherwise, they'll mention na, that a train crosses a station 150 meters long, okay. Whenever they say a train crosses a biker, crosses. On the other hand, when a train crosses something which is significant, for example, a train crosses a bridge. Okay, let's say a bridge has some length L. So in this case, the distance covered will be the length of the bridge plus the train length. Done. That's it in trains, nothing else. Okay. So when you cross something insignificant, you cross your own length. When you cross something significant, you cross your length plus that length. Next example. Train crosses a pole in 20 seconds. And a 150 meter bridge in 35 seconds. Find the speed. Crosses a pole in 20 seconds, crosses a 150 meter bridge in 30 seconds, 35 seconds, sorry, find the speed. So you know distance, speed, and time. When you cross a pole, what do you cross? Yourself. So in that case, distance is equal to length in your case you cross a pole. So distance will be L. Length. Speed you don't know. Time you know 20 seconds. Yes, in the first case. In the next case, you cross a bridge. How long is the bridge? 150 meters. So what is the distance covered? L plus 150. L is the length of the train. Is equal to time given to you is 35. Speed you know S. You got two equations, solve this equation simultaneously and you will get S and T, S and L, whatever. Okay? But kya na maza nahi aata I don't like such stupid methods. You can cross a pole, you can cross a bridge. Try to understand. When you cross a pole, what do you cross? Yourself, your length. When you cross a bridge, what do you cross? Your length plus the bridge. Can I say one thing? In both the cases, you're crossing yourself for sure. Only in this case, you're crossing the bridge. Extra. Okay. To cross yourself, you take 20 seconds. To cross yourself and the bridge, you take 35 seconds. Which means only the bridge, you take 15 seconds. The bridge length is 150. So the speed is 10 meters per second. Done. Do you understand this? <laughs> All right. So I'll repeat this. When you cross a pole, you cross yourself. Train. When you cross a bridge, you cross yourself plus the bridge length. Yes. So when you cross yourself and the bridge length, and in the previous case, you cross only yourself, which means in both the cases, yourself is anyway there. Just the bridge is extra. To cross yourself, you take 20 seconds. To cross the bridge, you get 35 seconds, which means only for the bridge, had you been a particle, only for the bridge, you would have taken 15 seconds. So for 150 meters, you take 15 seconds, which means your speed is 10 meters per second because 150 by 15 is 10. Simple. That's the answer. 10 meters per second. You want to try one more of the same type? Have a look. Look at the handout that I have. Look at second question. A train 200 meters long crosses a pole in 30 seconds. Same train takes 45 seconds to cross a platform X meters long. Find X. The train is 200 meters long. Train's length is given to you. Cross the pole in 30 seconds. Same train takes 45 seconds to cross a platform of X meters. Find X. To cross yourself, you are 200 meters long. To cross yourself, you take 30 seconds. To cross a bridge, you take 45. In 45, you already cross yourself also. Which means only for the bridge, you take 15. Which means the bridge should be half the length, 100. 
Done. Goes across the bridge. You take 15 seconds only. <laughs> and you take for yourself 30 seconds, which means the bridge should be half of you. 100 meters. Clear? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. One more. I'll I'll, I'll give you a question. I'll dictate. Take it down, please. A train crosses. Perfect. Perfect. That's the answer. Okay. Irrespective of whatever you cross, whatever the bridge length is, you will cross yourself and the bridge, right? So yourself is anyway common. Just talk about the bridge. Two hundred meter, three hundred meter, hundred meter extra. You took five seconds more. Yeah, it was thirty-five and thirty. So your speed is twenty meters per second. That's the answer. Twenty meters per second. And one last thing in trains, from your exam perspective. Two trains. So two trains are crossing each other the same direction. In that case, they take let's say fifty seconds. And while doing this in the opposite direction, they take let's say twenty seconds. So same direction when they cross each other. So two trains are going in same direction. This process takes fifty seconds. When they go in the opposite, this process takes twenty seconds. You have to find the ratio of speeds. Or they'll give you the faster train is so fast, find the speed of the slower train. So for that you'll have to find the ratio. Okay? Keep in mind that trick here. Whenever you have two trains cross each other in the same direction and opposite direction, timings given to you. All that you gotta do is add the timings, subtract the timings. That will be the ratio. Seven is to three. Done. Okay? Add the time, subtract the time. That will be the ratio. Seven is to three is the ratio of speeds of trains. Are we clear? Done. That's how trains work. So how is it? Trains. We'll talk trains. We have to talk about trains and relative speed concept, but we'll talk about that on Wednesday.